Hello, I'm Simon King, and together with the Woodland Trust, I'm going to help you to tell the wood from the trees. The UK has a wonderful range of tree species, but it can be quite tricky telling one from the other. In this film, I'm going to help you to identify two of the nation's most iconic trees, the mighty English oak and the lovely ash. Both oak and ash are common and widespread over most of the UK and form dense mixed woodlands as well as dotting the landscape in hedgerows and fields. They're both deciduous, losing their leaves in the winter. And they can grow to an impressive size, 25 or 30 metres tall. So, how do you tell them apart? Let's start up close and personal. An oak's bark is gnarly, with these deep fissures and troughs running up and down the tree, broken by horizontal cracks. Compare this to the bark of an ash tree. The bark of a mature ash tree tends to be a sort of beige colour compared to the grey of the oak. But the most striking difference between them is that in all but the very oldest of ash trees, it is much, much smoother. None of those great deep fissures and cracks that you see in the oak. Now let's look at the leaves. The leaves of the English oak are lobed down each side, five or more lobes, and two tiny little lobes at the base where the leaf meets the twig. The ash has oval leaflets in pairs, usually six to twelve pairs along each leaf stem. It's all very well telling tree species apart when you're up close, but how can you do it at a distance? Well, all trees have a character, a way about them, just like people, and once you get to know that character, you can tell species apart from a long way off. This tree behind me, it's an oak. It's like a cloud, a big, bulbous, spongy cloud. That's because the oak has very fine twigs and leaflets spreading in all directions at the end of every branch and it produces this wonderful rounded outline, unlike almost any other tree in Britain. The ash, by comparison, has a much more erect look about it. It seems to reach up to the sky with its crown, whereas the oak nestles in on itself. But perhaps most distinctive of all is the way the ash branches end. They terminate by sweeping back up to the sky, almost each and every one of them, giving it a really distinctive outline. So now, hopefully, you can tell your ash from your oak tree. Thank you. 